Hi everyone, it's Sharon Chantress. I'm here with a fun little VR video response to to V Love and Crystals. Um, her prompt: What is your favorite tarot backing? And I also saw that that Tara from Kittens Weights and Tarot has also done one, and I just wanted to do one as well. Now my choices are slightly different from Tara and V's and um, I love theirs I'm like a little bit like oh my gosh I want to get those decks but here are some of my favorites and I'll show you why for for reasons why I chose these that they, they don't necessarily mean they're my favorite decks but they're definitely my favorite backings so I'll go through with through them one at a time with you and then you can get an idea like we we use the backings as tarot readers all the time in pick a cards as a visual as a as a way to attract you in to draw you into the into the reading with this visual and it's usually our thumbnail so it can be quite important so let's take a look so first and foremost i happen to love william morris and his patterns and his florals and he's 19th century and it goes al along with a lot of the subject matter and tarot cards that I like as well. I am very romantic. I like romantic images. And so, for example, my deck, <laughs> I chose, um, you know, I chose, I chose this. And in fact, I've, I've, this deck has gone through different backings um one was just like a solid it was a little bit more mauve than purple this one because it is my my holographic deck i decided to give the illusion of the backing as holographic so that's the main reason for that one but uh yeah this is this is well definitely this is a my go-to deck as well because this is my deck and I have my energy in it and I know what all the images mean to me and you know how and I even have a book that goes with it too so yeah my where did my book go anyway so this one is very important to me and I love my backing and I worked really hard to create this this William Morris um, image here and here's that book that I was talking about that goes with it. So, you know, similar, um, just trying to keep that same feel, you know, that same 19th century vibe and that sort of thing within that book too. All right, and so um, also my deck here, the Flesh Tarot, I decided, and this one I put it silver edged and I decided to to give it sort of a flesh peachy color. I think my my more uh, updated version is even more fleshy, more pinkish, and I think I really love this the coloring so much in this deck too. And um, these are pre-Raphaelite images, and in my um, Enchanted Romance tarot, it's a lot of just traditional images that you might have seen, um, mostly waterhouse images, and here are mostly Bogoro, and I was really interested in the flesh, you know, the, um, the bodies. So there we go with that. I really like this one. It's not so pretty. And I think this, the coloring of this really expresses sort of the fleshy feeling. So there's that. Kind of in, along the same wavelength is is this beautiful Victorian romantic tarot, um, and it is also it's uh, holographic and captures the light. Just it's really it's very like okay here's here's a good. <laughs> it just really depends on where the light is. But again, this is. This is, you know, I classic romance. It's it's what I love. It's my favorite genre. Um, I love this deck so much that normally I would like cut off the white edge, but this is just too beautiful. And anyway, that is that, and um, and it was kind of an inspiration for me 
um, this backing, this beautiful William Morris backing. At one time I even put initials on mine. This one's great because it's reversible. Mine are not exactly exactly reversible. They just give the illusion like they could be, but um, yeah, reversible is nice. I don't really do reversal, so it doesn't matter too much to me, but you guys might like that, you know. Anyway, I definitely like this deck. <laughs> and along the same genre is this, um, the Tarot of Inspiration with another kind of William Morris uh, wallpaper floral backing. This is also reversible and also uses um, pre-Raphaelite images. And so, yeah, these were my inspirations for my deck decks. And um, I use this one, I use this one pretty much, you know, a lot too. I really love these images as well. So, and, and I like to, I don't know if you noticed, if you watched um, the May reading for the Twin Flames, I used, I used these and my deck as kind of com companions to each other. So because also because the backing is sort of matches as well. There you go. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know, traditional, I suppose. So that shows you that. We could also get into boxes as well as someday. Um, I like making um, fun tins, so that's my flesh tarot tin, and I colored it myself. And oh, the Victorian Romantic Tarot has the most beautiful box. This one was kind of a pricey deck, but it was worth it. It was like the the images, the artistry, the way it's packaged, the whole works is just perfect. Here's one I got recently. It's not, it's interesting because the back is not exactly holographic, but it has such an interesting, beautifully gold sheen to it. Sort of in the light, it's just, it's got a sheen. It's just really pretty. And it's also within that same genre of <laughs> the William Morris type um, patterned uh, thing. And this is the, the Enchanted the Chan Enchanted Tarot. So I had to get it because it was called Enchanted. This one is, is quite different um, stylings, but it has similar um, pre-Raphaelite images within and sort of modernized and almost like quilted, you know. It's a really cool deck. It's really pretty. And so I like this one too. It has a little, also has sort of a Art Nouveau flavor to it as well. It's really cool. And it's color coded and a little bit non traditional, which I like too. Like, not completely follows certain traditional images, but it all it all it, it does give that same, you know, Rider Waite Smith vibes. Anyway, very nice. It's a very nice deck. Okay. And any of these decks you can see in flip throughs that I already, I make, I make flip throughs for every single deck that I own. So check out my playlist for flip throughs as well. Here are two decks that when I see the backing, like in a thumbnail of somebody else's channel, I get really excited. Like, oh, I love these decks. <laughs> and um, I, I also love decks that, you know, especially in the Oracle when it's, a, it's an, a, an O representing Oracle, but I, I definitely like it in tarot as well and it is this is the shadowscapes my very first deck that i used on this channel i edged it in, in silver but it, it's kind of like worn out just a bit but anyway this is just the most beautiful deck one of the most beautiful i i you know like fairy and fantasy and whimsy and i was really just trying to find the best fairy deck possible out there and there wasn't, I mean, I really is kind of picky. There wasn't a whole lot of things that I liked, but I definitely like this, even though the images are really like small and detailed. Um, and I, I'm, I'm a little bit more into, you know, big, bold images. Um, I still just find this so 
like mesmerizing and beautiful and just it it makes me feel peaceful when I use it you know and and the messengers are, are a little bit different too um, I like to read the author's description and I like I mean I really incorporated some of those messages throughout my other readings in my own personal decks too but I just love those images so beautiful and then oh my gosh the ethereal visions when I see this I get very excited here's another one where I would trim the edges but ooh, I just don't want to mess with this deck it's too pretty and this one is you know the, the gilded the gold foil throughout and it's just I mean back and front it's really great to work with you know, it, this is this is one of those decks that works really great too in different lighting and in the dark. If you have really dark, um, sometimes settings, or you do things after hours, <laughs> it, it shows up really nicely, and you know, it's it catches the eye. It still helps the reader, it helps the the person, the viewer, the querent keep their eye on it. Isn't that so sweet? Yeah, I just love, I love these images. These just really well done. And then that gold running through it is just so pretty. So this is, to me, one of the best decks, back and front, <laughs> that, you know, that you could get. Oh my gosh, and the box is really cute too. The box is just a little, it's a little cardboard box, but I mean, I use this on my shelf as a display because it's so attractive, you know? and it's that gold kind of thing as well. I also just want to throw in the Shadowscapes Tarot has one of the best just definitions, like really, in, you know, handy booklet, easy to follow. I designed my booklet after Shadowscapes because it's just very easy to read, easy to see the print, the fonts, and very nice, succinct definitions that are just really well written so I just like this little booklet too <laughs> all right and so so then you know this whole fairy theme that I have I just trying to find more fairy oriented things and so I I, I found this beautiful fairy deck but um, the forest creatures tarot okay and this backing is also very soft and nice this is a great great backing to look at um, if you're, you know, if your theme has something to do with um, nature, uh, with the season, with spring or summer, anything like that, you know. So I love having this as a, as a, a backing for that. And, you know, it's this great, it's this gorgeous fairy deck. I mean, as fairy decks can or go, this is this is my go-to fairy I'll, until I make my own fairy deck. <laughs> I mean, the images are really, really pretty, really magical, and, you know, a little bolder than, not as cutesy, but more realistic, which I like, you know. Some of these are, they're just, they're hard to, hard to find stuff like this you know and and the my favorite backings and images usually end up in the oracle realm you know if I if I could get like, Jenna de Grotaglia to make some fairy <laughs> tarot then that would be make me very happy here but um yeah anyway so yeah I like this one this is so cute okay so there's that and then Oh, the un the crystal unicorn is so cute. Like so, as far as cute goes, this is probably the cutest deck that I have. And I don't have any of those really charming like Lisa Frank tarots or anything like that. And maybe I should get into that a little bit more. But I love this. This deck is really really cute, and it just follows exactly the Rider Waite Smith images, but unicorns instead. So that's really nice. I also have a full th flip through of this one too, if you want to see. But just they're just very charming. 
very charming and you know I might I'm, I'm like kind of debating if I want to do a fairy one like this or a fairy one like the the everyday witch it's kind of like should I go more Rider White Smith or should I go a little bit more uh, you know the everyday feeling like more modern a more modern fairy or so that's kind of what I'm kind of debating in my head I might do both eventually but what should I do with I still have to finish my letterman deck so <laughs> uh, one thing at a time but anyway so yeah as you can see this one is perfect so cute <laughs> this is so cute I love it and here's one that I've bought for myself twice and given away because I feel like it's a good starter deck for a lot of people who sometimes may not like the harshness of the regular Rider Waite Smith deck and might rather, oh, I got something sticky going on here, and might like, you know, just the softer unicorn images. Or if you have a, 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 a child that's getting into the tarot and, you know, they, that you want to give them a starter deck just to help them understand what tarot is about and not to like really throw in the the whole occult witchiness of it just kind of give them a nice light-hearted view of what that it helps with them it helps it when you're looking at a unicorn instead <laughs> right you know it's just like oh okay it's just a tarot deck it's nothing scary about it all right and so uh okay so let me keep going here this one also has a really nice little box too that goes with it so I resisted initially getting um, Doreen Virtue's fairy or uh, tarot. It, but look, I mean that backing is so cute, and the images in here are so cute, and it's this gorgeous silver edging. So it's kind of hard to resist. Although you know, I don't really like all this big heavy border stuff. It is very handy to have sort of just um, words here sometimes to help in, in quick readings or. You know, but the images are, are really cute, done by David, what's his name? Um, and his style is kind of a, it's, it's photo, photo manipulation kind of thing. So sometimes the images don't flow to, to me that well, and sometimes they're just really beautiful. Like this one in particular is like, ah, uh, those wings are kind of crazy. <laughs> and sometimes he'll like, take a face and put it in a body and it just doesn't flow that well okay so yeah like maybe like that here's one example I know because I am an artist and I love pinup girls that these these this is a face of a pinup girl that he put into this fairy image which there's nothing wrong with it but I'm just saying and they and then like everything seems sort of I don't know it doesn't have a nice flow to it so some of these images just just bothered me because of the flow but you can't you just can't you know say that that is not a beautiful picture <laughs> and some of these are just like so gorgeous just gorgeous you know and it's nice to see male fairies and it's just I mean it's hard to resist this deck so I use it once in a while and it's I don't know if it's my it's not really my go-to fairy but it's definitely it's up there anyway enjoying that I, I use this and so there you have it there you have it very nice I do like some of the like descriptions too. Like it, it does come in handy. It it comes in handy when you kind of just feeling like more of of using them in an oracle kind of way, you know, instead of a tarot kind of way. But yeah, here's like here's another example of a oh wait <laughs> of a pinup girl. Yeah, this is sort of a famous image of a pinup girl that he turned into. A, fairy girl but you know whatever I, I I've been doing that too so no no I'm not saying anything in fact you know that kind of inspired me to do this photo manipulation it's very helpful you know to it cuts down a lot of time and in in the drawing and the detail work of the drawing so very cute deck and very cute backing 
here's one I've used way more than I expected to. Um, and of course I had to um, have this as part of my favorites because it's shaped in a heart. And you know, it's kind of got this yin yang veal with the masculine and feminine there. And so yeah, I like this one a lot. I love the images in this one too. There's a lot of couples, which is good because I like working with this a couple, couples energy. The, there's some drawings that are just really, really beautifully nice and detailed like this magician. There's some more disturbing images that I don't, I hardly ever use that. Like if that comes out, I try to tuck that away. Um, but um, in general, like it does have, it has good energy. It's cute, it's, it's definitely cute. There's a lot of like, just friendly, lovey-dovey and fun. And, and you know, you see fertility a lot in this deck, which is nice too. And, and you see that relationship with the with parents and children. So there you go, the hearts. Tara, I knew I had that, some, that was somewhere in there. See, it's so pretty. It's really cute. Like the, this is a really beautiful like feminine image I think, and it's kind of a funny knave. I definitely use this every Valentine's Day, and I just use it randomly. And I used it today on TikTok if you want to check it out. I like this very much. The way the beautiful purple stands out against the white. I feel like you know white is is kind of a nice color to use for the tarot as backing. So I'm thinking of doing that a little bit on my feature decks. Because, I mean, most of these tarot decks that aren't, you know, the cute type, I love this one, the world card. Most of those are, um, have like a really, usually have dark image, like dark backgrounds, you know, in, in their images. I love this Five of Swords card. That's really good, this tango. That feel, that's what it feels like to be in a twin flame relationship. It's like, ah, ouch, ouch, ouch. And so, yeah, there you go. Okay. I think my favorite all-time backing, though, is this Tarot Illuminati. It's, I mean, in person, there's it has one look. And then on screen, it has it has this amazing dimension so it's really good to use if you're a tarot reader or for your for your um, thumbnails it's reversible too and besides that it's an amazingly beautifully drawn deck very bold vivid and it's very diverse too so I love the diversity in this deck um, the Pentacles mostly Asian people the swords and So, uh, this, I wasn't too thrilled about the lover's card, but you know, there's other cards that make up for it. Like, all the women are just really, that one's kind of fun. You see, it's just so, these, I like this one so much, so bold, and the two of cups is sweet, you know. I like all the queens. The suits the are really nice. Ace of Cups. Anyway, it gives you an idea what this deck looks like. Princess of Cups. And I like that they have prince, princess and a prince and a king and a queen. Yeah, that princess is so cute. And so yeah, this this, I think, would be my favorite backing of all the decks. A quick shout out to my Salvador Dali Tarot. It's just a great, I mean, great to have this. I love artist decks. Of course, you know, the backing is just pretty cool with the signature, though. And another quick shout out to my Starman Tarot. I love this. Tarot is so cool, but I don't like to use it too much because I want to keep it nice. The backing's kind of weird, but it's cool. One of the craziest boxes ever, too. <laughs> I have so many other decks, but they didn't make it in the top 12. I was, I think I was only supposed to do uh, nine, <laughs> um, but 
I, I feel like some of the reason why I chose the ducks, it has to be, it has to be kind of um, versatile, you know, like, and have an, I don't know, just a nice soft appeal to it. And so those, that's why I chose the ducks that I did for my favorite backing. And I hope you liked it. Pay trust in pixie dust.